Now, when African leaders visit Beijing next week, thousands of Rwandans will be able to watch the proceedings in the comfort of their own homes. That's thanks to an ambitious satellite TV project, another partnership between China and African nations. When I was in Kigali, I found out more about the initiative. Thursday night in the suburbs of Kigali, and Leoncea and her friends are hunting something to watch on TV. She's spoiled for choice. Leoncea has had this satellite set up no more than a month ago, but already it's transformed her home entertainment. Before, our only source of entertainment used to be DVDs. My family members would go out to look for them. But now, everybody comes home in the evening after work, and we all sit down and watch a variety of movies and other programs on television. Leoncea is among the beneficiaries of a project to provide satellite television services in 47 African countries. It's one of the partnerships agreed at a summit on Chinese-African cooperation back in 2015, known as FOCAG. The project was launched in Rwanda in June, and already 6,000 families have been connected with a satellite dish and the set-top box provided for free. 900 public institutions are also being hooked up. Chinese digital TV provider Star Times is rolling out the project in Rwanda. Currently in Rwanda they already implemented 100 villages already in June and also we will be finished the whole project, 300 villages, there in July. I think before the forecast yeah, in August, I think in September they will be finished. Yeah. Leoncia's home is one of the very few in this area connected to satellite television, giving them access to not just information, but also a wide variety of entertainment. We really enjoy it during the World Cup. Our neighbors have been coming almost daily to watch. The evenings have been fun. The kids are designed to work even where mainline electricity is missing. For the public situations, we have provided three devices, but with solar system. Yeah, with this solar system, even if you don't have power, they can support five to six hours to watching the televisions. Satellite television like this is providing Rwandese with a window onto the rest of the world. As the saying goes, knowledge is power, and it certainly beats watching worn-out DVDs. Penina Karibe, CGTN, in Kigali, Rwanda.